What is up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. So we're going to get started. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. We're going to do and you will know the truth. gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly report you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Spare me the noble savage fall of the sword track. Lee, oh boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum of this town. I know it's tough. You like Touch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. And disagree with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> We, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? <laughs> See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull. But the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. In the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderman to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech you made of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Ooh, we're on the Gatling gun. Ooh, I love it. I love the Gatling gun. It's fucking brilliant. Right, let's go. Trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Oh, please. Take a look at this thing. Alright, let's get to the destination. So, yeah, we're gonna kill. Look, they brought the machine gun! What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Dismiss! So we're going to take out some more Dutch's men. Are you ready to 
finish this, Mr. Marsh. We're gonna deal with them with so. our own special, in our own special fucking way. Let's do this. Come on. Where are you? Fingers on the triggers, boys. Just gotta wait for them all to come, and then we blast them more. Goodbye. Wagon. Come on. Kill the rest of these men now. It seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. Mount up, man. Let's move out. All right, come on, let's go. Come on.
Alright, and let's see if our new weapons are good. I'll try and get the I'll try and use this one, the repeat new repeat that I got. Glitching again. I swear to God, my game is for the glitches. Unless, unless that's part of it, I don't know. Where are we going? Oh, I don't know. Come on. Ah, this game's glitching, I think. Ah, uh, just like that, it fucking freezes well. That's just charming. Right. 